Please subscribe to In5D YouTube videos. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe. How do I know if I have found my twin flame? By Max and Lana. Guest writers, In5D.com. The term twin flame is becoming increasingly acknowledged and familiar in the metaphysical realm. Especially as the numbers of twin flame relationships seem to skyrocket, most likely to help our world with the unique energies, perspectives, and power that twin flame reunions create. A twin flame is quite literally the soul's other half, which parted before entering the third dimensional experience and human incarnation. Up until recently, most twin flame halves did not incarnate at the same time, but took turns supporting each other through respective human lifetimes. However, twin flame partners are incarnating together in greater numbers now with the special purposes of helping to maintain timelines, protect and augment energies, and move our world forward. Particularly in the times ahead. Since many soulmate connections are also quite compelling, familiar, and strong. How do you know whether you've really found your partner of ultimate destiny or twin flame? Listed below are some of the attributes of a twin flame relationship. Number 1. You had dreams or visions of this person and or your energetic relationship before ever meeting in this lifetime. Number 2. Meeting your partner felt like coming home to a familiar long-lost energy. After meeting, you had memories of other times and places with that person that are not part of this life experience so far. Number 3. Your partner mirrors your own issues, concerns, and imbalances, but you also complement each other's skill sets, talents, and capacities. You are the ultimate embodiment of yin, yang, number four. At least one partner is of higher frequency. Possibly a first waiver, indigo, and or crystal, or is genetically related to one, number five. You may be of different ages, the same or opposite sex, vastly different backgrounds. Opposing religions or cultures, but you feel an incredible unity or incomparable sense of oneness with your partner. Number six. You feel each other's symptoms, illnesses, and emotions even when you are not near each other or in communication. Number seven. Your functioning is impaired or much less optimal when you are apart from your twin flame. It physically and mentally hurts when you are not together. Number 8. When you are with your partner and the relationship is in balance, you become stronger, more powerful, and more capable than you have ever felt. You feel united in a mission or calling to serve others and the world. Number 9. Your unconditional love for your partner is like no other. Your partner is likely to have a certain habit, quality, or baggage that would be a deal breaker for you in any other relationship. However, you overlook it or willingly work through it with this partner no matter what it takes. Number 10. You met your partner when one or both of you were in other relationships or otherwise unavailable. It's likely that you met when and where you were least consciously expecting it. Number 11. Either you or your partner feared the power of the twin flame connection and ran from the relationship so as not to feel overwhelmed and or vulnerable. Years may go by before you are both in the place to finally commit fully to the relationship. Number 12. The partner who ran from the twin flame relationship finally wakes up and realizes the significance. His or her aha moment comes as the result of a loss, illness, or other personal catastrophe. He or she then comes to terms with the fact that there is no other person or priority more important than the twin partner. Number 13. 
No matter how many times you break up or separate, forces seems to bring you back together. You see the signs and reminders of that twin connection everywhere, urging you back together. Number 14. Your relationship is characterized by extreme highs and lows, including passion and intense pain you've most likely never felt before. Number 15. In efforts to harmonize, justify karma, and balance each other, you push each other's buttons and test each other's limits like no one else has or ever will. Nevertheless, the extreme highs in the relationship consistently get higher. Number 16. Friends, family members, and others in your circle can't relate to the twin flame dramas and always try to get you to move on to someone or something else that seems more logical or better for you. On paper, number 17. The growth you experience, the lessons you learn, and the person you become in the twin flame relationship are more significant, happen more rapidly and are more powerful than any other experience or period of growth in your life. Number 18. You realize that your previous soul mates or other relationships prepared you for the twin flame reunion. Your twin flame may even have or embody a number of the unusual characteristics or outstanding attributes of your previous mates and soul friends. Number 19. You feel as if you've been waiting your whole life for this person. When you look back at your life, you see illnesses, sabotaged relationships, or other situations that manifested because you were still waiting and still looking for the one. Number 20. Even if you are extremely tired of three-dimensional existence here on Earth, you heal. Evolve, mature, and continue to live just to stay with your twin flame partner. Number 21. You are an old soul, and this is your last human experience. Number 22. The more that you and your twin partner spend time together, the more rapidly and completely you awaken to higher consciousness. Number 23. You have a deep knowing that your twin partner is your destiny not just in this lifetime, but also when you ascend, return, home, and are reunited for eternity. Addendum from what is a soul group? Twin flames. Other relationships may involve seeking your twin flame, who may or may not be here in this incarnation. A twin flame is literally the other half of your soul that makes you whole. Yet at the same time, each twin flame is a complete soul. They form a complete balance of the male and female energies. Your previous relationships were also soul contracts to help you prepare to be with your twin flame. When you meet your twin flame, you'll know it immediately. Some twin flames aren't here in this incarnation. That doesn't mean you shouldn't get married or have children because your twin flame in the ethereal realms wants you to experience everything that can bring you joy and happiness in this incarnation, as well as to learn as many life lessons to help your spiritual growth. He or she is still part of your soul group but decided not to join you in this incarnation. Don't take it personally. They're still with you in heart and in spirit. It's also important to remember that some twin flames remain on the other side to provide you with help and spiritual guidance. Some souls decided to come here without them because they heard the call and they knew they were needed here in this incarnation. Please keep in mind that not everyone from your soul group will incarnate at the same time. Max, the healer's healer, is an acclaimed energy healer, psychic coach, and medical intuitive. Max, Lana, and Locke group enjoy helping other twin flame partners make the most of this human experience. Please subscribe to in 5D YouTube videos. If you have an amazing 5D article you would like published on in 5D, send your article to my article at in5d.com. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook. Please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe.